So let's talk about algorithms. So most of us have come face to face with an algorithm, but we may not really know that at this moment. If you're using your smartphone, if you're using Netflix, if you're doing any kind of online shopping, and those are some of the basics, you've probably used an algorithm. If you use Facebook, if you use Instagram, if you use Twitter, you are using algorithms. And these algorithms predict your behavior. It's as though they are doing a, a cognitive function. So we're using the computer, we're using what we call machine learning and artificial intelligence to do predictive work for us. So if you've watched a movie on Netflix, something comes up saying, if you'd like this, you're probably going to like that. The same thing when you do shopping. Well, algorithms are also being used in criminal justice, in particular policing, big data policing, which means we're using data to predict the behavior of persons who are supposed to perpetrate or who we think have the propensity or the proclivity to perpetrate a crime. So this is what's happening. The algorithms are saying these are the individuals who have the propensity. But are these algorithms actually correct? So some of the things that we've seen so far in sentencing, we're seeing that algorithms are predicting whether someone is going to reoffend. But what we're also seeing about those algorithms is that these algorithms are overestimating who is going to reoffend or the rate of recidivism. And it's actually overestimating the rate of reoffending for Black, Indigenous people of color as opposed for white individuals. So, what does that say? There's a certain measure of bias in the algorithm.